Uh, all right, Luminous Sleeping. Let's check it out. The game, did the game, I think the game just saved, right? I think it did. Did I start weightlifting? Yeah, I've been weightlifting before, like in the morning, um, like in between streams. Like I'll just do it whenever I kind of get a chance. Uh, my arm is already fucking sore. Already sore. I remembered. Secret. I beat the boss? Yes, I did. Sometimes my mods time out the weirdest shit. Why did you time that up? Shit. Conspiracy? Uh, no. I fail yumps like all the time. Didn't yesterday I, I fucked up like a couple yumps? You know, you want to see how little I care about your bread? Oh, he was reposting. You want to see how little I care about your bread? Which will Barb pick? Me or me? You care about your bread, then just remember that this bet is completely random and I, I you know, you know what? I can even, I you know, I might change my mind. I might get my wife to come in here and pick. I'm gonna ask her. Pink is the better color. Is it pink or is it blue? I thought it was blue and red. Is it pink? I never realized that. Whee. It's blue and pink. Oh no! Shit. It's blue and pink. I thought I really thought it was blue and red. Hey, Katie! Blue or red? All right. Wife says blue. Who wins? Me. Wife said blue. There you go. Thank you. Coffee. No, God, I suck. Okay. I'm incensed. <laughs> it's, it's Tuesday, isn't it? When is the last time you played Diddy Kong Racing on stream? I have never streamed Diddy Kong Racing. I've never, ever streamed it. Polished Pipeline. Patty is a Diddy Kong freak. That's a trap. I haven't played Diddy Kong Racing in a long time. And I don't have... I, I have zero doubt that I would fucking annihilate Patty at Diddy Kong Racing. I was pretty fucking good at it. Uh, does somebody have... <laughs> somebody have the picture? I am the local Diddy Kong Racing tournament champion. Uh, I won, I won my local Diddy Kong Racing Championship. This isn't even, I'm, I'm not even kidding. This is real. I won the Diddy Kong Racing Champion, and I had to beat the guy, so TT was banned. Uh, TT was not allowed to be used, because TT is way too powerful. So this guy, the, the guy in the Grand Finals, 
you can't choose the same characters in Diddy Kong Racing. Only one person can play as that character. He he uh, ran over and chose uh, the rooster, who is the second fastest character in the game. So I was stuck using no bullshit. I was stuck using Banjo, of all the fucking characters. Banjo is also pretty fast, and I fucking won. I won that tournament. Thank you. Yeah, drumstick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Clock was banned. I couldn't pick the clock, so I had to take Banjo. I fucking won that shit. I won in very dramatic style, too. I distinctly remember winning the tournament because it was, we were on windmill planes. We were on windmill planes. We were flying the planes, racing one another. At the last possible second, we were neck and neck, and I had the oil slick, and I fucking farted right in his fucking face with the oil slick and the plane. And he went down. I remember the whole place was like, oh, it was like the last second fart in the face. And I fucking won the tournament right there. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't have a cape, though. Hey, what happens if you don't have a cape? Yeah, it was it was uh, it was a big pop off. It was a good moment. <laughs> what a story. Thanks, man. I knew you guys would appreciate it. The disrespect. <laughs> it was it was kind of funny because uh I also I won the Golden Eye tournament there in another similarly kind of almost shitty fashion. <laughs> in the, <laughs> in the the Golden Eye tournament, thank you. So how I won the Golden Eye? Oh no! When I won the Golden Eye tournament. It was like we were playing the power weapons or whatever. And the way I won the GoldenEye tournament was I was down like 10 nothing. I was losing. So I killed him once and then I was hogging the body armor. Like every time he would hit me, I would just get the body armor back. And I kept killing him. I pretty much I pretty much ca I camped him out and killed him for 15 kills in a row just by hogging the body armor the whole time. The guy had to like sit there and watch me kill him 15 times in a row and he couldn't do anything. <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah. This sounds fake. I literally have the pictures. I have the pictures. If somebody repost the tournament pictures, we will go on a field trip and I will show you the tournament pictures right now. If you don't believe me. Somebody post them in Discord. I know they're there. Somebody's got them. Are they in? They're in Discord right now. I'm not even shitting you here. Yee. I will show you in just a moment. All right, here we go. Is it in Discord? It'll be under the bar meme section. Now you know that I am not, this is not an idle boast when I say I am a, a Diddy Kong Racing Champion. Now you know this is not some idle boast. I've got the evidence to back it up. Okay, so we got all the coins. I need to keep the cape, though, because I need to go for the secret exit. Thank you very much. Okay, got the secret exit. Thank you, Wolf. Oh, look! Mankey Bridge! Oh, Mankey Bridge! What a happy, fun level we've discovered. <laughs> this was one of, so this is probably the level that made me just like get morsel levels away from me. Like it wasn't Jolt that did it. My first playthrough of Jump, this was like, oh my God, I cannot stand morsel levels. Like I hate them. Uh, Mankey Bridge is, as since I've beaten obviously Mankey Bridge many times since then, but uh, it's just such an unbelievably long and bullshit level for a for a first timer in Super Mario World. Uh, it's it's really fucking rough. We'll avoid Mankey Bridge for the time being. Mushroom Tripper. You're rocking that mustard dude. Sorry, this said too much, and then Barb started getting annoyed by it. Nah, it's fine. I don't care. You're good.
Like I used to get a lot more bothered by people constantly commenting on the way I looked. Now I'm just like, whatever, I don't fucking care. Say whatever you want. You look like shit, you look amazing, I just don't even care anymore. Nice glasses, thank you. I look like your future dad. I think I'm gonna marry your mom. Pretty fly for a white guy. But you really gotta make this go down really far. There we go. You don't have to hit that? Bits. A cool level. Oh, wow. Do you really have to, you have to push it up all that way? No. Can you even do that? A way you can do that, right? Oh, you really can. Wow. You ride these things for a long fucking time, don't you? Uh, Patty, thanks for the bits. Cargo shirts for carrying your custom Nintendo 64 controllers, and I feel and I feel you don't let the haters get to you. I'm wearing fucking cargo shorts right now. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I'm wearing them right now. How else am I gonna? How else? What do I have in my pockets? How else am I gonna hold this shit? Hang on. No, I have nothing in my pockets. Never mind. <laughs> Usually I've got like a lighter or something. I don't have anything this time. A hammer. <laughs> Box of the condom for your moms. Not the one ring. Ah, oh, shit. Can I grab that? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, that was it. I had it. Oh! Okay. Oi! Oi! Is that $100 if I can see Barb smoke a joint on stream? I don't smoke. I've done all that shit before. Sorry. I don't give a fuck. The only, the only drug I want is sleep. <laughs> That's all I want. Yeah, and, and flesh. I've been known to enjoy flesh from time to time. Jesus Christ is my drug. At some point, you at some point, uh, take it from me. At some point, you will, you are well. Let me phrase this differently. At some point, you may potentially grow up, and some things you will find have lost their appeal, and you've kind of like a been there, done that situation. At some point, so personally, I think, uh, I think, I, I don't, I don't think weed should be criminalized, and I think that it should be something that. 
Like, I think we're going to see it in our lifetime where it's just, like, decriminalized everywhere. Like, I don't think it's any more harmful than something like alcohol and shit. But, uh, I would never... It's by no means would it be like, oh, let me risk my fucking everything for, to do this one stupid thing. It's illegal where I am, so... Alcohol is proven to be more harmful. Well, I don't really drink either, honestly. I don't really do that either. So you don't get to be a Diddy Kong Racing champion by taking your focus off of the game for even a second. That's a loser mentality, all right? You got to be on the track, hitting up TT's time trials. If you want to, if you want to be a gamer like me, <laughs> the most, the most pathetic series of words to ever leave my mouth ever. <laughs> Hold up, I'm writing this down. Alpha grind. You gotta have the alpha, the TT alpha grind set. Are you some loser tip top player? Nah, man. Never even unlocked TT. Unlocking TT as a kid, that shit was, all right, so, ah, all right, at least I got the coin. Unlocking TT was really tough as a kid because here's the thing, I did not understand for the longest time in Diddy Kong Racing that when you drive over a boost, you have to let go of the gas completely. I never understood that as a kid. So I would just hold the gas the whole time. I didn't understand that as a kid. I think towards the end, I finally like, I was like, oh my God. Like, Diddy Kong Racing is so hard, I can't unlock TT. Yeah, you have to let go of it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think towards the end, I finally figured that out, and I was like, dude, this is so much easier than I thought it was. No, I'm not joking. You actually, when you're driving over a boost, you have to completely let go of the gas. You only re-engage the gas when smoke starts coming out of the back of your car in Diddy Kong Racing. I'm not kidding you. It's just like an unintuitive, like, really? If you know how to do that, it makes the TT time trials and fighting against TT, uh, like racing him, it makes it so much easier. A no green boost playthrough, that's how that's how I did it as a kid. I thought it was the fucking hardest game I'd ever played. <laughs> Damn it, dude. They tell you how to do it in the game? I don't know, man. You think I actually read shit when I was a kid? Monkey go fast on go-kart! Go, monkey man, go! I think I'm gonna read fucking WizPig's tutorials? Nah, man. The fuck out of here, Tadge. Give me my car and let me go. I don't even read shit now. Yeah, exactly. You think I'm gonna read shit when I was a kid? When I was a kid, I really enjoyed playing Diddy Kong Racing with my family because I would get the 10 rocket. So Diddy Kong Racing is different from Mario Kart. You don't get random items in Diddy Kong. You have to pick which item you're going to try to go for. And if you want the super version of that, like if you want a red, like let's say you want, oh yeah, I want a red shell in, in Diddy Kong Racing. There's no red shell. You have to get two rockets and combine them. And after you get the two rockets, then you have the homing missile, right? So you can power up your items three times in Diddy Kong Racing. If you powered up your the rocket, which is like the shell in it, you power it up once, you get a homing rocket. You power it up again, you get 10 rockets. So what I would do is I would get 10 rockets and I would just barrage my family members into like into oblivion. Like they couldn't move. I would just shoot them like literally 10 times over and over. It was so much fun. Oh my god. Just literally non-stop shooting them. Like, stop! <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. That's a cool level. Alright, the smog the smiles back. Let's check it out. Welcome to the fail compilation, Mr. Barb. 
Not, let's not die on the very first moment. I don't... How would you ever hit this one? I don't think you can. Yeah, I wanted to see if this one moved. Smile. Smilers. That ate my jump. Oh. Did I miss a dragon coin somewhere? I don't think I did. <laughs> Level design, what is it from uh, that Sonic Saves the World hack? Level design is my passion. Ah, there's the last one. I'm lucky there. Oi. No! Okay. This hurts my eyes. Yeah. This is uh this is definitely a level that exists. Trouble focusing. <laughs> I did not even see that there was a fireball there. There we go. GG. Will Bar beat level first try? Answer was ye. All right, Wiggler Tub. Let's do this one. I'll get a ballroom gown then. I think you were supposed to throw that forward or something. Uh, happy fuzz. Thank you for the uh, five gift subs. Thank you very much. Can you restream the awards? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I got the coin. Does he help this golf game and shit? Jump! Wiggler. Best Game Awards jacket. All right, The Ruins of Challenging Sadness. Let's check it out. Best Twitch Prime pitch. Oh, no. Snipers have been deployed to guard this cramped area. Please don't be surrounded by diagonal bullets or other injurious substances. Thank <laughs> you. 
Great. Will Barbie be the solve first try? No. <laughs> God, this fucking camera. Jesus Christ, how many fucking bullets do you need, man? Jeez, I'm already getting surrounded by four bullets. You got more bullets coming in off screen. Oh, uh, where's this go? Uh, Dr. Trowbridge, thank you for. Woo! Is that like a reset for the Chuck? Fucking god damn it! Fuck! Alright. Streamer with the best sweaty chat. I have a sweaty chat. You guys are pretty sweaty. Forest chat is the sweatiest. Fuck you. I love the smell of chat. Time best raw max here, guys. All time great. <laughs> all right, GG. One of the all time greats right here. What am I looking at? GG. Liu Kang. Let's see, what does this say? Masterpiece. Jump is considered great because of all the breakthroughs it made in the name of bullshittery. So it turns out these gods are nothing more than Mo but Morton's henchmen. You'd have to wonder how he has built a replica of his Lord Bowser. Now Mario has to go through the forest. What? <laughs> okay. 